So thanks for joining me, everybody. And um, yes, yeah, so I do this every Sunday, Sunday night at eight, as you know, not half eight, eight. Hi, Paul. And um, to sign up for this talk, all you have to do is go to my website and there's a link there to Patreon and you then you can watch the whole thing and join me live. Otherwise, I just put a little clip in onto YouTube. And also my website as my events. And the only thing I have scheduled at the moment is May retreat uh, meeting in May for six days. And that's it at the moment. I'm not planning anything for the spring because I'm actually traveling for a little while in spring, late winter, spring. Uh, what else? Yeah, if you like a one to one Skype with me, we can do that, which is always uh, very different from doing a talk like this. It's a really good opportunity to examine all the uh, misconceptions that go on. And they really do go on because I wanted to start uh, this talk by reading a question that was on my Facebook wall, uh, which is really, a, this is not a criticism of the question, but it's a really classical uh, thing that the um, person asks and the kind of trap, trap that it gets into. So. This person says, if you go beyond the experiences, isn't creation love and love a creation? Isn't love a reflection of the absolute? All gurus say we are that. If we look at the rock, tree, flower, aren't they more in a natural state of being than we are? Were they not here before us? Isn't this a clue to our true nature as well? See, this is what the mind gets into, doesn't it? It it uh, it, it makes the story that I am not in a natural state. I am not in my natural state. Then what other state is there? <laughs> if this is not natural, then what else is there? This is absolutely natural as it is. It's absolutely natural. And it's funny that the mind goes to things like flowers and animals and rocks. Well, what about my iPhone? Is that not in its natural state? What about my hairband? Is that not in a natural state? You know, that's what it does. It makes these stories about creation. Is creation love? Well, how do we know it's a creation? How do we know that any of this is a creation? Because that means there'll be a creator. And how would we know there's a creator? This is all stuff that the mind says. That's what it does. It says, as you said, it, it looks beyond appearances. But what is beyond appearances? It's all made up in the head, beyond appearances. It's just not there. Beyond what? The walls? Or beyond? The, the, it's just like I don't even know what that means. But I understand it because uh, I used to be like that as well. I used to go and look at nature and go, well, how can I be one with nature? How can I do that? <laughs> when it is already one. It's already here. It's already this. But this is what happens. It, the mind gets into this, to this, this story of, is it this? Is it love? Is it creation? What else does he say? Flower, rock, tree, aren't they in a more natural state than be of being? A natural state of being. What does that even mean? You know what? What? I like to examine these things. Examine what what does being mean? Isn't that just another supposition? Being. Hi Anne. Hi Paul. Hi Paul. 
two poles, two poles, two sevens. It's trying to, what this is, is lots of forms, but the forms are a mysterious thing. This is, an, this is a mysterious life, whatever you want to call it. This happening is mysterious. And because the me thinks in things and other, and then has these um, ideas like being, natural state of being, which is just, just I mean, really, is, is that being made up? Natural state of being? Is that a story that humans have said so many times? It's become like this, this thing that's become true. I need to be in my natural state of being. Natural state of being. This is the natural state, but not, I wouldn't say of being. You could say being, but is it being? I don't know. I don't know if this is being. <laughs> I, I just don't know. It, it's it's freer than that. It's so beyond all these human conceptions, you know. And and I think I said in one of the replies to him, so what about like, um, what about the cup of tea and the lip balm? Why do we just go to these certain appearances and not those appearances? It's because we're like locked in a, we're locked in a set of beliefs that separates everything out into being and then not being. Does that mean, does that mean, because this is a natural state of being, is what is an unnatural state of being? No, there's, there isn't an unnatural state of being. There isn't anything unnatural. There's only what is. And there's nothing in there that can be pinpointed because pinpointing anything would just be making another concept. Anything that is thought of, anything that is believed, any ideology is all conceptual, all of it. All gurus say, well, I'm not a guru. 